Thank you so much for joining me as Game Edge. We are back in the forest, and we've got a lot to do. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. We've got a lot of work to do. And thankfully enough, we also have the trees come back. Very, very cool. Last episode, we got the rebreather. Hey, how you doing? Hey, no, 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 no. Don't, don't run away. We also have to make some more happy birthday traps. So that's going to be something. Oh, shite. There we go, brother. Thank you. I am filthy. I got tons of mud on us. We should actually check to see how we're doing. I, I'm probably going to need some aloe soon. I'm pretty much sure we need aloe big time. We also make our... Oh, bone armor. Why am I not doing that? Whoa, whoa. No, I don't want to play with a bone. Four, five. I think it's five, right? No. It's six. There we go. Put that aside. Put that on. Put that on. Put that on. You see right here? That's your armor. You want to keep that as high up as possible. Get rid of this. Ooh, spoiled. Ooh. Ew. All right, that's got to be gone. That's got to be gone. All right, let's go and cook up. Well, at the same time, we're going to look. We actually have, of course, a drying racks, without doubt. I do like to cook up sometimes. It kind of makes it feel a little more camping, a little more chilling. Let's just put this in here. Put the sea. Put the meat inside. We're not going to be cooking up any kind of limbs and stuff. We can put them in here, though, if we want to. And just let them kind of hang. There we go. Let that go. And at the same time, we'll just double check to see our book and see how we're doing today. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> how we're going to survive. We don't like the angle of that book. All right, let's look down. All right. Oh, it's actually a different angle. That's what it is. All right, basic survival. How am I doing? Where's my stats for today? I'm doing good. Currently feeling good. That's awesome. This is actually day 18. Fullness. We need to eat a little bit of hydration. Energy is kind of low stamina. Armor is a little higher. Cold armor we're going to work on a little bit. And a stealth itself. And if we do cold armor, I'm not mistaken, this takes away from here, right? The armor itself. Let's just try this out. This is actually the actual... Yeah, this is a little bit of cold armor. So now let's actually change that up a little bit. There we go. We have 30%. It does reduce the amount of armor you can put on. But that's okay. Our fire just went out, didn't it? Not too close. Stoke it up by pressing C. Is it ready to go, this food? I think it's ready to go. It's just we can't actually grab it. There we go. We can grab it from this angle. Wicked. This game is actually coming out in April. I think it's April 1st. It's releasing out of... Did I still have a limb on me? Oh. That's interesting. Didn't think I had any more. Let's just drop this off here. Uh, yes, yeah, so like I was mentioning, we, this actually released in April, so it's actually a really cool game. If you've not seen it, I played quite a bit. <laughs> just a tiny bit. Many, many, many episodes. And we're going to actually get rolling a little bit and getting ourselves done. We're going to see whether we have a little bit of water here. We'll take a bit of a shot. Awesome. Let that just kind of continue for the day. It'll probably burn itself out. We'll probably have to get ourselves rolling a little more. What was it showing something to eat? I have more food I put two of them? Huh. I don't remember putting two. But it's all good. Hope I didn't need a leg or something I didn't realize. Ugh. Alright, we can actually finalize a little bit of stuff in here. Like I mentioned, I have the drying rack right here, which we'll drop the lizard on. Very, very sweet. We also have our pelts here and all that, our actual fur. We have we also can we have our deer fur, which we can utilize later on. We also this is really cool, this part. I also need aloe. I'm gonna need aloe big time. This is so much fun. Oh, yeah, baby. I love the zip line. Oh, rain to a tree. You're dead, Game Edge. <laughs> Big time. Now you can actually fish here if you want to. Sorry, brother. I was actually coming down to wash. It was time to wash a little bit. I, I, I don't look so good. Sorry for that, rabbit. Surprising you. Like that. Let's just jump into here. Let's wash yourself off. Make sure all blood and everything else. Keeping yourself healthy. Insane a bit. These plants always always look like skulls and stuff. Now, the, the cannibals themselves have been quite nice, actually, lately. They've been so vicious. I'm not saying they're not going to come out and attack and start bothering us very shortly. We are day 18. We should start getting a pounding of them very shortly. One after another. Unless they kind of fixed that. I'm not too sure if they did or not. And it's very hard to find aloe. Oh, my God. I'm only finding this stuff. Oops, not this one. I guess this, right? There we go, yeah. So let's give us some energy mix. And we can actually fill this up to five of them. So we can actually just might as well just do it while we can. Of course, that would be nice to get some health. We're going to need to combine those two together. Very sweet. How much we got? Five? Yeah, they won't let me do anymore. Perfect. Let's grab what we can here of these ones. Fill ourselves back up. Again, aloe, very hard. 
where you find it, grab it. If you see a shite load of it, start crafting. Start crafting like crazy. Uh, we actually have to get another happy birthday trap put down right about here. Um, I'm thinking about putting a wall over here, but that's going to be a little bit of a problem with that rock. This rock is actually in the way. I don't think I'd put the happy birthday trap on this rock. That might be a big problem. I also don't want to close off everything. They were coming in and attacking us from this area. That's the reason why I put these up. But I do need to get myself a little bit more defense across here too. That is going to be something we're going to have to work on. Damn, we're going to have so much to do. Uh, let's get one more up here. I see them kind of transverse right across here, hopping over this rock. Let's see if we can actually make another trap. All right, happy birthday trap. Where are we? Trap, trap, traps. Beautiful. Happy birthday to you. One of my favorite traps. Rotate. Yeah, this rock is completely in its way. We're going to have to build something next to that. Some kind of structure, a wall. Maybe a defensive wall. I think that's the only way. All right. There's also this tree here. Unfortunately, we'll have to go down. Uh, and, well, pretty much gone. Gone. Unless we go around it. But, yeah, uh, it'll be a big problem. I don't want them to be able to hop onto these things. So we're going to take this down. We're also going to take the root down to the bottom. The actual stump itself. Oh, shite. Oh, no, don't break the happy birthday traps, please. Don't break them, don't break them, don't break them, don't break them. Thank you. That was stupid of me. There you go. We actually put the sticks near. I didn't realize I had some on me. Nice. Get the second, two, well, the only two logs. I don't think I need more than one more or two more, is it? Oh, both. All right, awesome. Uh, we actually can look down too and see what else we need to actually build with this here. To tell you, you need 12. Uh, we have 12 sticks, need 20 total. So we'll be able to get those very, very quick. Now, the stump itself, I can use a katana if you want to. You have many ways to do this. I just use the axe to make it really quick. And this won't grow back now. So on a regrow, this won't be here anymore. It's gone. We also build ourselves a little wall over here. Defensive wall. All right, defensive structure. So that's where it is, right here. Boom. Defensive wall. They can really hug this into the actual happy birthday trap and bring us right into the other one. It'll go right into the rock too if you want to. Boom. Right here. Nice. That'll be nice and quick. This will be stable. We also put some defensive rocks in front of it here. Right afterwards, people does lie this on here, which is just gives a little more oomph. And also, I sometimes like to place this right in front of it so it actually gives me another little defense. Now, I mean, his arms are going to be able to knock this down pretty darn easily. I won't lie to you. It's it's pretty quick. But overall, it's well worthwhile. It gives you a little bit of time. You could put a happy birthday trap right behind that also. So if he walks in. But again, uh, even the traps and stuff can break. So it's, it's not uh, it's not foolproof. Come on, baby. Drop. This thing's not built. So thank God. If that was built, that would have been another happy birthday trap to build. Let's get this done. And we'll drop this one, since it's so close by. Let's just face the direction you want it to drop. You can also do a jump on it if you want to. I usually use jump right onto it and push the direction I want to. Like that. I don't know if it really works anymore, but yeah, it seems to work. I don't know. It's been a thing I've been doing forever, and I can't really change that. Nice. Get a couple more of those in there. Let's get Katano for a second. That's what we'll use a hammer too to take these actual sticks. It takes up less stamina. Uh, these little suckers here, like I mentioned before, you can knock them down to hit the actual. I thought I heard something. Yeah, the stump itself. Okay. Sorry, I'm so positive. This game is incredible, especially if you've got good headsets on. The things you can hear in this game is incredibly scary. There's no one on beach. Very quiet day again. I don't know if they're waiting to just start toying with me. Or like watching me. Get scared. I don't know. Not too much action. I'm a little tired now, so I'm going to have to walk this up. Got to be careful that stamina. Stamina is key to survival, of course. Pick up the rocks. Just want to step. I think you can do it from the side, right? Yeah, like this. You don't want to get too close to it and just set it off. Now, you need sticks to actually reset this. So if they do get set off, you'll be able to need that to reset. That is definitely something. We have two more logs over here, which is great. 
defense. I don't know if I can be able to build it in that rock or not. Let's see if that actually goes in there. Oh, it does. All right, we'll put that there. We'll put another... Oh, I didn't set it. All right. Oh, it doesn't set. Why is it not setting? I don't think it can because of rocks. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Put the other one over here. Will it let me? I don't know what's happening. Or maybe it's just a little bit of a glitchiness going on. Uh, we'll need a couple more rocks. That's it for sure. Only rock I like to carry is Blue Thunder. Thank you very much. You guys don't know what it is. This is Blue Thunder. I need these two logs over here in a second. Actually, I'm going to put them over here. Actually, we'll drop this. Oh, oh. Four. And I have no more sticks here. Damn it. Sticks, sticks, sticks. Always sticks, I tell you. They're so damn important. And these little trees themselves. Now, every time you restart the game itself, you'll have these little stick trees. Come back, these ones. These are absolutely amazing. Very, very helpful. Now, the cables are attracted to fire. So if you really want them, you can actually make a bonfire and get some going. Uh, the beginning, you trying to avoid them. I prefer not to have them around. <laughs> I'm not that big of a fan of them. I do like fighting them. I don't mind, but they can get cumbersome, especially when you're trying to work. And they usually come at you when you're tired. We got a little stone there for a slingshot, which we got last episode. All right, let's eat. Let's see a couple of these. We see them here. One, two. There should be a third one around here, too. There we go. Something here. Beautiful. Looks like we dropped it. All right, we're all good. Let's go back all the way here. Now, they could possibly jump up here and cause an issue, but I don't think they can. Now, it's actually giving you a warning here. You see, as you're walking, don't, you're going to die. This actually will set up and spike you. So, this is what happens with Hyper 3 Traps is this. Boom. There you go. You got to be careful with them. Let's come over here, reset them. You need a stick. Hold down E. Not as fast as it used to be. It used to be a click, click, click. Now it takes a lot longer. But at least we got a defensive wall here nice and strong. We can repair these two if we need to. That is very, very cool. Maybe we could have a nice bonfire here for now. I think we need that. Need more light. I can sleep the night pretty good. I think it's a little bit been fixed a little bit. It's a something. I'll put a bonfire over here, actually. Maybe I'll attract them into that. We're one stick short. Look at all the leaves you need though. Twenty leaves, be careful. Oh, wow. It always looks like a nuclear explosion. They need to fix that moon. It's always that big boom. All right, we only need one stick, so go back. And a couple of logs. We should have tons of those around here. No problems. Now we need to get some rest and some food in us soon. And uh, three more logs. Beautiful. Let's light her up. This does emanate a whole lot of light. Beautiful amount. I do love these bonfires. They can break, so prepare yourself. It does take up quite a bit of resources here. They can break, but they do light up an entire area very, very nicely. I should make another one right here. Let's make another one here so we can actually see this area. They could be temporary. You can knock them down very easily. Got a whole bunch of sticks over here. Pick up the sap while we can. Swig of water. They're coming. Is that the tree? Or is that... Damn, that just scared the crap out of me. Alright, we need five, so... I should have some here. Screw this. We need to get building inside the building. I want to get so much done. But it's very hard to do all the time. We're trying to get as much as you possibly can. 
but it's a lot of work. I won't lie to you guys. There's a lot of work, but it's so much fun and fulfilling when you build yourself your base. If you've ever seen, I build structures all over. I built a full rock structure. I built my first fireplace before they actually had fireplaces in this game. And that was a lot of fun. Made my own furniture. <laughs> Did everything we could possibly make. And uh, yeah, now they're all in this inside the game, which makes it a lot easier. All right, let's do actually a ceiling. The only problem with, with this game is that the actual ceiling itself, you see how this goes one, two, three, four, and five. You should put six or seven of them. Uh, the height of itself, when you come in here, they, uh, it's, you'll see what I'm talking about. It's very, very low. We'll put a ceiling up just for shits and giggles to show you guys. It's probably the only thing I, I always like to do double levels on, just because it annoys me. There it is. Custom floor. This foundation. Where's the ceiling? I think it's a floor, isn't it? Yes, it is. You just put it right here like this. Now, when you touch this, you'll see when you touch the side, it actually shows you the actual area. If you want to, you just press E. You can remove that too if you want to. Or C, sorry, to, to remove it and actually place your own one at a time if you want to. Very, very tough to do. It will take some time. It's like a little ball that you actually got to connect together. Just like the foundation itself, so it's not so bad. But we do have action going on here. So we're going to have to leave this for a second. Are you ready? Good. Actually, I should probably do is get a couple of... Just stack like this. Beautiful. Let's get another stack. I just, I'm just i doing a shift and right click. And this at that. There we go. So at least we have a whole stack of these. I do like them flammable. It makes my life a whole lot easier. Oh, you hear the screams. Yeah, those are not good screams. Now some of the rabbits will go in here and start cooking themselves in. Where do they go? There they are. I knew they're here. Come here. Oh, buddy. That must have hurt. Oh, I don't have a stick on me. Damn it. I'll have to do some more stick work. <laughs> Collecting a lot more. We've been using all of them for that fence out there. It's just one. Okay. Press E and hold it down. You'll re, you can read off bank and actually pick them up. You can also put them in log sleds if you want to, or you can just drop them into a fire. You can also drop them in these fires too. You'll get the actual bones from. There you go. I'll just get close enough. Boom, and the bones will pop out. Very very helpful. <laughs> it's a little demented, I know. You can make effigies with them too. Cut them up in pieces. A whole lot of cool things you can make with this. That's all. It's just one. I'm kind of surprised actually. I was expecting a whole lot more than that. What was that sound? There's also a couple new sounds in this game. Yeah, we're kind of hungry too. We're not going to eat him, of course. We're just going to wait for the bones to pop. And then we're going to get some food inside. And we're working on the ceiling, I guess. So that's it. I mean, it's not heavy amounts of torture here. Come on, pop, baby. There we go. Beauty. Can't put skulls in these guys. Still no. Damn it. How'd you get here? Did you ever want to catch on fire? Oh, oh, oh. Did you ever want to catch on fire? Let me just do it. Press and hold L. Oh, well, I guess I don't need to do that anymore. <laughs> this guy's brilliant. All right, meet Blue Thunder. It's time for you to meet him. He knocks your teeth right out, buddy. Yeah, he's going to be a torture and a half. You calling for help? No? I think you are. I think you need to sleep. Sleep. Shh. All right, he's good to go. <laughs> Gotta love these guys. Dropped him in here. that fire going 
We got another guy coming at all? No. Half expecting it to be. Let's wait for the pop sound in a second. I'm gonna grab you and get myself some more armor. I think it's control. Gives me a right amount, doesn't it? Yes. Excellent. Let's get our nutrition up. And we'll put the rabbits back in here that we actually caught. I don't think we have anything else. We can actually also put the pelts here. Excellent. Are you going to pop yet, buddy? Because I just need a couple more bone armor. I just need like just a little sliver. I think it'll look really damn cool. Got some bone armor all over. Just need my left arm. All right, let's just uh, make one last shot here. Beauty. Beauty. Oh, man, these, these, these are amazing bonfires. That makes a whole difference right there. So like I was saying, we can do double levels or we can actually have this. So if you guys want to have a seal like this custom, I'm going to let it be like this for now to show you. Here we go. I'm standing up. Look how close it feels. Ah. Uh, it feels wrong. But to build this actual area, it's the only way for us to kind of get done properly. For now. I just feel like it's so close to the... They're like one log away from making this work properly. One log away from this just not feeling like so compressed. But again, it is a little house, so you know we have to make do with what we have to make do with. It's also taking a crap load already. 168 logs. There we go. It's because I'm grabbing too much. So I'm grabbing three else and just too quick. Two. Look all the way up. Bam. I'm doing it somewhere else where I don't have to look up every two seconds. It drives me a little bit nuts. Look how quick you can spend all those logs. Oh. Come on, baby. Oh, I'm going to have to cut down a whole bunch. Just a whole bunch of sleeps left. <laughs> Pick up logs. We could do actually logging at night if we want to. Not always recommended. And at nighttime is actually a whole lot of fun, too. You don't have to sleep every single night. If I'm not mistaken, it doesn't really affect you as much. Unless they change it up. Let's just check this out. Energy, health, fullness, hydration. We're at 62. Sanity is 98. He's doing great. Strength is 24.8 uh, going up. Weight is uh, 206. Eating too much meat, I guess. Daily calories eaten 2,103. Burnt 1,664. So really, there is a differential of how much work we're going to put into it. Today, we're not working as hard. So therefore, that is a big problem. I'm going to take out these trees here. Make sure they fall this direction. There. Don't break that. Thank God. Done. Thought I saw somebody else. Damn it. Scaring the crap out of me still. This game is still has it. It still has it. It has that fear factor. That crazy fear factor. That should be far enough. Yeah, good. We'll drop the rocks we have on us because we can pick some up as we're running around. Always a great idea to make sure you pick up sticks and everything else you can. Drop them off. Have a location you can just do a quick drop off. That is sweet. I get yourself into a log sled. Double checking our area. How many logs are left for this? Do we need for this? Wow. 103 left. <laughs> Not a whole lot more. That was 63 that we put in. That's okay. That's okay. We can manage to bring out all the log slides and make that happen today. We're not going to be able to get everything today. That's, that's not going to happen. I'll be dead honest with you. It's impossible. Come on, baby. Knock that baby down. One-handed axe is beautiful. 
Man, I'm so happy for Blue Thunder coming back. It feels great. It feels great to be back in the forest. I am loving it. I am playing back to back right now because I'm addicted to it again. <laughs> I guess I just need a little hiatus from it. And I'm feeling really good with it. Again, if you guys like the series, please make sure you like button. Get involved in it. There will be a lot of action, a lot of fights going on. I can guarantee you that. That is always something that happens in this game. We're also going to get some building done. You can see it's actually coming together quite nicely, actually. I'm kind of impressed with it. We'll drop off one more sled here. And the best way of going up is walking backwards. Boom. I'm getting closer. I think it's going to look pretty damn snazzy. I mean, sleep would have probably been a good idea, but if we sleep now, we're not going to get a full day. But I think we need it for a sanity. Did want to spend a little bit of a night outside, kind of searching out for some of, well, some of the actual cannibals themselves. But again, not too busy. It's good. Calm before hell, I guess. We're about to see that. I got one, two. Sweet. All right, let's drop off the last bit. Boom. That was lucky, actually. I never get up there going straight forward. It's very rare. All right, not bad. So off camera, I'm going to start logging and getting as much I can done in this. We'll get completed. So if we can actually complete all this, it would be pretty damn awesome. We do have enough food and such, so we should be able to do that. We'll have to go to the main camp, too, and get some... Oh, we'll get some work done. we got to get tons of work done. We also need to get some water right now. We're kind of thirsty, and we'll save up and make sure we're all nice and saved up in case something happens. Uh, next night, we'll have to make sure we sleep because that's going to be a big issue or else. Make sure you stoke up your fires. That is something else. And there we go. I thought they attracted a little more in this. They didn't attract at all. It's kind of disappointing right now. But it's okay. It's all good. The base is looking pretty darn cool. We got ourselves our bonfires and stuff rolling. We actually got the hyperithy trap plus the defensive wall and defensive structure in front, which is really sweet. I think we've done very well. So thank you so much, guys, for being here again. If you guys like this and you want to see a whole lot more of it, make sure you hit like button, share, get involved in it. It's always very much appreciated. Get a calm feels. Thank you. That rabbit flew out of nowhere. What the freak? <laughs> Thanks again, guys. This is your image. I'll catch you guys on the flip side.